Welcome to PBIS Classroom Management Practice 6, Multiple Opportunities to Respond and Academic Engagement. Academic engagement is actively involving all students and providing multiple opportunities for students to respond in a lesson. Opportunities to respond are instructional questions, statements, or gestures that seek an academic response from students. Research indicates that increased use of OTRs during instruction results in increases in accurate academic responses, increases in desired behaviors, decreases in undesired behaviors, increases in on-task behaviors, and improved reading and math performance. Opportunities to respond also allow you to increase the material you cover in each lesson and offers continual feedback on student learning and the effectiveness of teaching strategies. To respond can be used in individual or small group questioning. Make sure you use a strategy to make sure all are called on. Opportunities to respond can be whole group activities like choral response, which is suitable for review, new skills, drill, or even lesson summary. Opportunities to respond can be nonverbal. You could use symbols, tools like whiteboards, or even gestures like thumbs up, thumbs down. Opportunities to respond can include group and small group work like Think, Pair, Share, response boards, choral response, computer games like Kahoot, small group work, and gesture games. I bet you can think of others. Opportunities to respond can be written, they can be action, or they can be verbal. Opportunities to respond can be whole group based, small group based, or individual. When you are considering classroom management, plan opportunities to respond and engagement. They will make learning visible, increase student engagement, and decrease problem behaviors. When planning opportunities to respond, use data. How can engagement in OTRs decrease problem behaviors at difficult times of day like transitions? If students are engaged in instruction, it's hard to engage in problem behaviors. Including multiple opportunities to respond creates a trauma-informed classroom. Multiple opportunities to respond support different learners in the ways that they are most comfortable responding. It provides time to process and apply learning, and it provides opportunities for self-awareness. In a normally developing brain, survival takes up a relatively small portion of resources, while more resources can be devoted to social-emotional learning and cognition. For a child who has experienced trauma who may be in your classroom, more resources are devoted to survival and regulation than to social-emotional development and cognition. Providing academic engagement and multiple opportunities to respond also dovetails nicely with the Danielson framework. Planning for opportunities to respond can be planning for success. As you plan opportunities in your lessons, look for the effect sizes of the various strategies you can use. This slide gives you some effective strategies. Planning multiple opportunities to respond can be your key to success because it gives you opportunity to establish relationships with students. Strong relationships are often the key to student success. Remember, as you think about classroom management and active engagement and multiple opportunities to respond, that these are tools in your toolbox and they won't be suited to every situation. Remember as you think about multiple opportunities to respond that 
A general guideline is that teacher talk should be no more than 40 to 50 percent of instructional time. New material, four to six responses per minute with 80 percent accuracy. Review, eight to 12 responses per minute with 90 percent accuracy.